Let's write the chemical name for C2H5OH. So we have a structure here, and it's really nice because when we look at this formula here, this OH right here, we have an oxygen and a hydrogen. That's the same thing right here. The red is the oxygen and the white is the hydrogen. So the formula here, C2H5OH, that tells us a lot about the structure and ultimately how we're going to name this C2H5OH molecule. So the OH here, that's called a functional group in organic chemistry. And we can look it up on this table here. So we have our R. R is the rest of the molecule. That's this part right here. And then the OH, that is an alcohol. That tells us that we have an alcohol. Since we have an alcohol, when we write the name, it's going to end in OL. So as we're naming this compound, we know right now it's going to end in OL. What about the rest of the molecule here? Let's take a look at that. If we go back to our structure, we have this carbon. The blacks are the carbons. This carbon has three hydrogens. This carbon has two. And we can superimpose a chemical structure, a structural formula, on top of our model. It looks like this. So you can see the OH right here. That's the OH right here. We have our two carbons. Because we have these two carbons bonded by single bonds, the root of this would be ethane. So if we take ethane and combine it with that OL for the alcohol, we end up with ethanol as the chemical name for C2H5OH. And this is so common in chemistry that I would recommend you just memorize. C2H5OH is ethanol. Sometimes you will see this formula written as C2H6O. It's the same number of atoms. It just doesn't have as much information. This could be ethanol, but it could also be other molecules. So really, the best formula is C2H5OH. This is Dr. B with the chemical name for C2H5OH, ethanol. Thanks for watching.